Okay, Yovel, there's a meme that goes online that says the IDF uses human shields as well. Well, they don't use human shields as well. They're the only ones documented to use human shields. And they overwhelmingly use Palestinians as human shields. So now Loserbox is going to try to... Yeah, I mean, it's going to try to debunk the location of the Israeli Mil Ministry of Defense? Bye. Uh, this is the... When we went, we went to one of the uh, protests... This was funny, watching this protest in person. I'll go over this when we go over everything. Um, well, it's, it, the, the yeah, it's, it's hilarious. It. Like, this motherfucker accuses other people of being insulated, of not giving a fuck as they're insulated from the comments, I mean, from the consequences. That, that is, like, that is his brand. Not giving a fuck because he's insulated from the human consequences. The cops were, like, antagonizing protesters with their horses and with mace for no reason, but if you were there at the protest, the protesters all sit and they try to get in front of the horses so that they can't move, so that they can, like, intentionally, <laughs> basically bait out the cops to try to attack them. Linking civilian infrastructure with military, right? And the argument they say is that this building over here, the command center, is uh, yeah, that's... next to a shopping center, right? It's too close to a shopping center. Yeah. Oh, well, it's right in the middle of a residential area, yeah. There, this is a densely populated civilian area that he's in. This is the, the middle center, of right? Tel Aviv. This is the shopping center. Look how yeah, it's across the fucking street. That's exactly the point. Well, like, literally, what are you trying to do, loser box? You, you're trying to say that across the street isn't near? You know how many people live within a fucking one-mile radius of that place? It's in between these two buildings. There's, like, a road, a fucking road that goes underneath. Ooh, wow, there's, like, a dual carriageway nearby. That, that totally makes it different. Other road, and then some trees. <laughs> Look at that. It's... I mean, is it close? Well, there's some trees too, chat. There's some trees. That totally changes it. That makes it totally okay to put a major military target in the middle of a residential area in a, dense, in a densely populated city. Is it not close? That really doesn't matter. But Yes, it actually does matter. It, it does fucking matter. Because that command center is... A legitimate military objective and look at all the civilians right here if somebody weren't to attack that legitimate legitimate military objective all those people would be at risk that is why it is often very common to keep those sorts of um, objectives away from populated areas but I mean when we talk about human shields this is the least of it really because, I mean, Israel just openly, they have an open policy, an openly acknowledged policy. It's called the neighbor procedure of using Palestinians as human shields. It's been documented. They don't even really deny it. Be, the, the thing is, is that, um, oh, hey, look, it's me. Um, the thing is, is that if you, um, if, the reason why you use human shields, the reason why you co-locate military and civilian objectives is because you expect to gain some sort of advantage from it. Yeah, I mean, and now he's going to debunk himself in real time and accidentally debunk Israel's propaganda because the, the, the military advantage you expect to get from that is that the other side won't attack an internationally projected, uh, protected site like a hospital or a school or something like that. But the problem is Israel has never given a shit about that. They have always attacked schools and hospitals, so literally nobody would think that there was a tactical advantage to putting anything military in a hospital because they've, they've been attacking hospitals all along. That's not a new thing since October 7th. That's gone on for decades. Israel doesn't gain any advantage from it because Hamas kills civilians. So it's almost definitionally impossible for... Israel to use human shields because that wouldn't protect them from being attacked. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. Now do that with but now do that with the Palestinians. And if that wouldn't protect them from do, uh, from being attacked, why? See, I think what protects them from being attacked in the case of Tel Aviv is precisely that none of the people likely to attack them are actually in a position to do anything. Uh, on that scale, and also they have been sticking to military objectives. It, it, like it doesn't, it almost definitely like doesn't even work because they, they, they know that, right? You're never thinking as an Israeli soldier like, fuck, if I just run into this hospital, there's no way Hamas is going to attack me here. Well, and actually, 
it, it's this is actually like darkly comical because he really does not need to go here because he is actually debunking the propaganda about alleged use of human shields by the Palestinians, which, again, no evidence has ever been provided. Destiny wanted to debunk the fact that uh, Israel has a major military command center right in the middle of a residential area of Tel Aviv. And so he made the mistake of doing this in a live video, Loserbox did. See, because the way you'd want to do this, if you were actually going to try to bullshit people like this, is you'd want to do it in multiple different shots. You can't do it in one take. Because if you do it in one take, like he did, you see that even as he's trying to claim that it's way far away, it's literally just across the fucking street. It's literally just across the street and next door to a bunch of big tower blocks. Yeah, because Loserbox is not very good at this, and uh, maybe he is right not to give his audience that much credit, 